What's going on everyone? Welcome to another video here on my YouTube channel. The new year is approaching. Um, I mean, it does depend, of course, when <laughs> you're watching this video. I actually want to share in this video the questions that I ask myself every year, and I've been doing this for the last three, four years, and it has truthfully impacted my life in a very positive way. If you're watching this video not at the beginning of the next year, then it's never bad to already start going through these questions, reflect back on the last year. So here are the questions that I ask myself every year and that I could recommend you to ask yourself every year as well. So they are actually in two categories, which is like personal life and I also call it business. But if you don't like the, the word business, uh, you could also use the word career, for example. First question is, what were some of your awesome slash best moments of 2022 or whatever the year is? <laughs> The next question is, what did you accomplish in 2022? And then go over business or career and also in your personal life. The next question that I ask myself each year is, what are some of the things from 2022 that you want to duplicate in 2023? Next question, what was challenging this past year? What do you not want to have happen again? Next question, what did you learn by going through these experiences? Next on the list of questions that I ask myself each year, what were some of the most important decisions of this year for you? Next on, what decisions might you make next year as a result? And then the last three questions, biggest business lessons from 2022, or again, biggest career lessons from 2022, uh, if you don't want to use the word business. And the second last question, biggest personal lessons from 2022, and finally, the last question, what are your goals of 2023? So there's actually three uh, reasons uh, why I would say doing a year review is really good. Uh, and the first one is just to, to see what you want to do more of in the next year and also what you want to do less of that next year to design your life even more in the direction that you want it to go to. The second one is to just reflect back and see all the steps that you've taken, you know, over this course of this last year. Often we quite easily can, can forget all the things that we have done, you know, all the travels that we've done, all the goals that we've achieved, all the things that we've worked towards and got closer to. Just taking time to just look at that again and to reflect back is quite good, actually. It feels motivating to then also continue the next year to keep going, you know, and to see that you are probably doing way better than you might realize. And then the last part is actually, or the last reason is just because it's actually quite fun <laughs> to do this. Uh, so what I always do and what I also recommend is to actually open your Google Photos or whichever, you know, uh, place that you keep your photos on and to start from the 1st of January and to just scroll upwards to the end of the year and then each time go through the questions, you know, uh, and write things down. So you can also just visually be returned to that time and that place and just uh, remember again the fun times that you had or or even the difficult times that you had uh, but maybe the lessons that you learned or that you actually got more through it and the last thing that i could recommend you is uh, this is something that i always do is i do this um, once i filled these questions in i i meet with a friend and we reflect we we share each other's 
personal and business goals uh, and, and things that we have achieved that year, things that we want to do more of next year, things that we want to do less of next year. We, we just take time to listen to each other and share those things. And it's a really, really bonding experience, actually. I also started uh, doing this with my girlfriend, actually. I uh, Last year, I showed her these questions and she filled that in as well. And then we made a date night from it where we just took time to listen to each other's year review and also give each other inputs and feedback and insights and to celebrate together the things that she has achieved, the things that my friend has achieved, and they celebrate with me the things that I've achieved. And you know, you can even make it a bit more special and uh, go to uh, go on a little weekend trip somewhere and take time, you know, just that weekend to, to really in detail fill those questions out. That's something you could, for example, do, right? Or what I always do is I go to a coffee place and yeah, I take some time to truly reflect on my year. That's uh, it for this video. I will actually put those questions in the description of this video so you can just easily copy and paste them into Word, Google Docs, Notion, Evernote, whatever that you use. If we are close to the new year, then happy new year. <laughs> If we're not close to the new year at all, because you're watching this uh, somewhere in the middle of next year, then, uh, well, have fun. Either way, right, with these questions, I, again, can recommend you, no matter when in the year, to do these questions uh, and to reflect back on the past year. Any questions that you have about this uh, year review or any input that you have to share or anything that you do, that you want to share with me, I'm very curious always, uh, and any questions that you have, I always try to answer as many questions I, as I can. So don't hesitate to leave a comment down below in the comments section. With that, have fun with these questions, uh, thanks for watching, and I really hope they can positively impact your life. So yeah, try it, that's all I can say.